Okay, this is now what we call combo number two. Uh, I first of all notice that there is a number here. So my first reaction is, oh, this is not a simple trinomial. However, I notice that that number goes into 20 and into 160. Ah, I see a common factor. So this is 5 times ww. 20 is 5 times 4w. And 160 is 5 times 32. So therefore, you have a common factor, 5, 5, and 5. So, according to one of our great rules, whatever you have done more than once, you only have to do once. Everything else goes in the bracket. So, 5 I have done more than once, so I only have to do it once. The first term, I have a w times a w. The second term, I have the minus sign and a 4w. Third term, I have a minus sign and a 32. Okay, now we looked at uh, this sort of thing in the last video. I want to make sure 5 is still in my answer, so I'm going to make my answer box and drop the 5 down there. But I'm going to see if I can break up this bracket. Rule number one, look for common factors. Rule number two, check every bracket. What multiplies to make 32 and subtracts to make 4? Okay, you'll remember this from the last video. 4 times 8, do subtract to make 4. So I'll put down a 4 and an 8 into my answers. If this is a negative sign, these guys are going to be opposite signs. And that's the prize that goes to the bigger of the two numbers. Okay, so which is bigger, 8 or 4? 8 is bigger, he gets a prize. That means 4 must get the plus sign. Now just check at this moment, into this bracket, is plus 4 minus 8 equal to negative 4? Yep. So now you can put in the W in the first bracket, the W in the second bracket, and you have your final answer. Okay, so the combo number 2, that's made up of a common factor, our very first type of factoring, and a simple trinomial that's left in the bracket. So now you have pretty well covered everything we covered in factoring in grade 9.